Question 6 says, a simple pendulum has a length of 52.1 centimeters and makes 83.8 .8 complete oscillations in 2 minutes. Find the period of the pendulum, and then B, find the value of G at the location of the pendulum. There's a couple of things interesting about this problem. The most interesting thing to me is uh, I think WebAssign, when they assigned this problem, uh, messed up because the answer to part B is written right there at the beginning of the problem. It says, it actually says 10.03, and then it says a sample or a simple, and it goes on and, and lists the rest of the question. 10.03 is the answer to part B. So if you want to go ahead and if as long as your numbers are the same as mine, I can't see how you'd get a different answer. So you can go ahead and just take the answer they gave you. On the other hand, I, I will still go ahead and continue to work that out so you can see how it's done. Okay, so for part A, it says find the period of the pendulum. So we, we have a pendulum and it says that it makes 83 oscillations. So, so it makes 83 full um, full uh, waves and, and it gives us a time of two minutes. So let's change that to seconds really quick. So there's 60 minutes in a second. We're looking at two minutes. So we have 120 seconds. And in that 120 seconds, we get 83 oscillations. So if we say that, that capital T is the time it takes for one complete oscillation, so one complete oscillation, so the, the, pre, the time for one oscillation times, times the number of oscillations is equal to the total time that it took. So we can, take, we can take T and we can say that it equals the total time that it took divided by the number of oscillations. And so then we would have T equals 120 seconds, the total time it took, divided by the number of oscillations, which is 83. So that should equal 1.43 one nine eight one seconds so that's the time for each individual uh, oscillation meaning that that it travels starts here goes here and all the way back that's one time then it says to find the value of G where the pendulum is located so we know that that uh, let me change that, that we know that T is equal to 2 pi times the square root of L over G. And we want to solve for G, so we have to we have to take T over 2 pi. T over 2 pi equals the square root of L over G. And then we can take uh, both sides and square them. So, so T over 2 pi quantity squared equals L over G. And then we can just simply switch, uh, we can switch around this term with G and we will get that that uh, and actually let me move this around okay so we'll move all of that over and then so we'll get that uh, G is equal to L over T over 2 pi quantity squared the problem tells us that the length of this thing is 52.1 centimeters so uh, we're going to convert that to meters so 0 point zero or actually just one zero zero point five two one meters divided by and we know that the the time is one point four three one nine eight one seconds so so one point four three one nine eight one over let me see if I can move this up some so so um, actually I'll, I'll just try to make this whole thing a little bit bigger we'll just scratch this out so 0 0.521 meters divided by 1.431981 over uh, to over the uh, unit 2 pi. So that's uh, 6. That's approximately uh, 6.283. And we want to take that quantity and square it. When you plug that in, you'll get that the gravity where this thing is located is equal to 10.03051 meters per second squared.